Hello people, my name is Ferdy. And if you have a WooCommerce website, you should use coupon codes. Coupon codes are a great way to get more revenue from your website, to make more sales. And in this tutorial, I will show you step-by-step step how you can configure them and how you can use them in a way that you can make a lot of money in a short amount of time. I'll show you how to add coupon codes. We can apply it over here. And now we get 20% discounts. And coupon codes are also a great way to boost your sales for new visitors and returning visitors. You can create coupon codes with free shipping, discounts in dollars or in your particular currency, in percentage, and also set limitations like spending at least $35 for a coupon code to work or create a coupon code for a specific product or make sure that the coupon code can only be used one time. We will dive deep into that subject. If you want to learn from start to finish how to create a complete web shop using WordPress and WooCommerce, then watch this tutorial. Now let's get started. In order to create a coupon code, we go to the back end, then we go to marketing coupons. And I'm going to create my first coupon by clicking on this beautiful purple button with white text, create your first coupon. And I can generate a coupon code. And now I can use this code. I go to the website holding command or control on a PC. I can go to the card and then I can place my coupon code here and apply the coupon code. Well, we need to assign some settings to this coupon code. What happens when people fill in this coupon code? Here in general, we can choose a discount type, the fixed card discount or percentage discount. So I can say you get $10 of discounts. If I publish it and I use a code and I apply the coupon, really easy. The total is now $10 less. So it's working. But what happens? Look at this. If I get rid of this all and I go to the shop and I go for the cheapest product. Let's see if I would go for the ebook, add to the cart, view the cart, and I apply the coupon code. Coupon code, it's already applied. So I just pay $9.99. Well, that's 50% off. That's a lot. So what I can say in the description, I can say get $10 of discount when you spend at least $35 or $35. So what I can say now here at users restriction, the minimum spent needs to be 35. So now if I refresh the page, it says, sorry, it seems that coupon code, blah, 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 is invalid. It has now been removed from your order. Why? Because the minimum spent for this coupon is 35. How cool is that? That it's saying that if you want to change this color, go to the customizer to WooCommerce general messages. And then here I can change the background color to something more red. Let's try it again. Um, wow, my eyes. Oh, it's so bright. Wow. So that's what you can do. Let's go back to general fixed car discount. I can allow free shipping. So as soon as people fill this in, this coupon code, they also get free shipping. And I can say that this is uh, valid until the latest day of July. And after that, it's not possible anymore to use it. So now I can send an email to my email list saying, Hey guys, if you want to buy something on my website, I have a $10 discount coupon code. If you want to use it, you need to spend at least $35 and then you get $10 off. I can also change it to a percentage. But we'll do that later. Uses restriction. Minimum spend is 35. You can also say above $2,000. You don't get the discount anymore. You can also say uh, only for individual use. So you cannot use multiple coupon codes on top of each other. You can also exclude it for sale items. So if I turn this off, and I update it. And I go to the shop. And I go for the hoodie. I add it to the cart. It's a sale. So as long as there's at least one sale item in or one item on sale, it will not work. Even though you have a lot of other products that are not on sale. Sorry, this coupon is not valid for sale items. So that's 
what we said over here. And now, if you would try it again, it works. How cool is that? What else? We can only they say that it's only for certain products for a hoodie. So if I close it, it says it's not been it's not valid anymore. The minimum spend is 35, but at the other hand, when I go to the shop and I buy something else, it's also not valid because it's only valid for the hoodie. So this coupon is not applicable to select products. So I can also send an email to my email list, buy this hoodie, special deal. And then only when people buy the hoodie, they can enter that coupon code. Awesome. And I can also rename this, call this hoodie 10. Update. And then the question is, do they also work with lower capitals? So let me refresh the page. It's not there anymore. But now if I say hoodie, then without capitals, does it work? Yes. So it doesn't matter if you use capitals or not. It still works. So let's go to the uses, usage restrictions. I can also exclude products. So it's for everything except for the hoodie, or I can include certain categories. The so only products within that category can make use of this code coupon or exclude certain categories. And I can also say only people with a Gmail account can make use of that. And then there's the third tab. I can say that the user limit per coupon is 100. So only the first 100 people can use it. And I can say that the limit is that every person can use it only twice. So you cannot use it three times being the same, the same user. If I would bring this to one, that means that everybody can use this for one time. So I can send an email saying, Hey, for the first 100 people, there's $10 of discount when you spend at least $35. So that's how you can configure that. You can also change it to percentage. So I can say 10%, you get 10% of discount when you spend at least $35. Let's see how that will work out. I go to the website, to the shop and I buy something expensive this one add it to the cart view the cart and now if i apply let's see hoodie 10 so let's let's say uh 10 percent copy this when people enter 10 percent look at this 10 percent 79 dollar 90 will be removed and when people buy something else You see again, still $102.70, which is 10% of this amount will be removed. So you can do percentage fixed or a fixed product discount. So that's uh, a fixed product discount for a certain product, but you can also use that uh, same principle for uh, users restrictions by selecting the product you want to apply it on. But since we changed it to a discount, we can go to users limits limits and you can limit the amount of items. So right now we have one, two, three items. If I go to the t-shirt and I go for the M, -M add it to the cart, XL white, add it to the cart, view the cart. We still have 10% of discount, but if we say only use it for five products, then it will change. It's the five cheapest products. So let's, let's test this. Okay. Now we have nothing. I go to the shop and I go for a t-shirt. Add it to the cart, view the cart. I use 10%. And now I get $14.99. If I would increase this, look at this. Nothing changes. Why? Because it's for the five cheapest products. So let's do two things. First, 
this is 10%. I want to add $10. Get 10. I don't have to, even have to say what happens. So this is a fixed, fixed card discount. No restrictions. It works every single time. And then I go to the other one, 10%. I go to the second tab. And I want it to be used in conjunction with other coupons. So we have 10% and $10. So now if I go to the website, we have nothing yet in the filter. So let's go for a t-shirt. Add to the cart. View the cart. Okay, let's add one more. Now, I can say $10. And on top of that, I can say 10% apply. 43.98, and that says that it doesn't matter in which order it will be applied, but they can be used together. And now if I go to one of the coupons, so marketing coupons, I go for the $10, and I say it cannot be used with other ones. Refresh. And I say $10 and 10%. It says, sorry, coupon $10 already has been applied and cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons. So that's how it works. This is a great way to make a lot of money in a short amount of time. So two more ways on how to use this at a coupon coaching madness. Get $50 off on your first coaching call with 30. So I can go to use its restriction. Oh, let's make this 50 and then say this is only for the coaching call. And people can use it only one time because it's only for the first coach call. So if I would use this, add to the cart. View the card and then I paste it here and then I get 50% 50, 50 discount. And the other one, the thing we can use it for is marketing coupons. I can call this one free shipping and people get free shipping. That's it. So I go for a Nike hoodie. Go to the cart, apply this code. Uh, I mean, free shipping. And now it says coupon free shipping, free shipping. So if that will be shipping, it will be free. So that's what you can do with coupon codes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. If you want to learn how to create a complete WordPress website from start, to finish, then watch this tutorial. It will appear somewhere over here. And if you want to subscribe, it will also appear somewhere over here. You can do that for more upcoming WordPress, WooCommerce, affiliate marketing, and e-commerce, but the same as WooCommerce related tutorials. Okay, bye-bye.